And let's bring in our political correspondent Simon Young at our parliamentary studios. As we heard there, Simon, these documents allege that Germany was naive in its involvement in northern Afghanistan. What do these revelations mean for the country's policy in Afghanistan? Well, of course, the Afghan war is already extremely unpopular with the general public here in Germany. And these revelations, I think, of course, will uh, increase uh, the pressure on the government uh, because they allow such a detailed picture to be built up uh, of uh, how the problems are, are experienced on the ground in Afghanistan. Uh, and they show this huge discrepancy between the official uh, picture and uh, what uh, military officers write in their uh, classified reports. And the suggestion uh, that um the allies of Germany saw uh, the German military as naive in uh, its approach to northern Afghanistan suggests that the uh, security situation there was much worse even initially than, uh, than we were told. Now how are NATO and ISAF likely to respond to these disclosures? Well, of course, the first thing they want to do is find out how these leaks have happened, whether this is the work of a single individual with uh, access to this kind of classified information. And they'll, if that's so, they'll want to uh, identify that person and prosecute them, as we've seen in leaks cases uh, before. And, of course, they need to know whether there are any specific uh, uh, military operations that have been uh, compromised by these uh, releases. But uh, uh, there may not be such a huge impact in the sense that, as the White House says, this is old information strategies have changed under the Obama administration and for instance on Pakistan's support for the Taliban well that's something that's been widely uh, reported in the past and it shouldn't come as a big surprise to anyone. Simon Young thank you very much for that.